Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, and if this is your first time, I want to welcome you to my channel. I have a word from the Lord, and I have a lyrical song that is going to explain what's happening between you and your kingdom spouse, or what is bound to happen between you and your kingdom spouse. So the word that I want to share is, things are about to happen suddenly. And I know in my previous word, I've explained how things will happen swiftly and suddenly. But let me tell you, y'all, God is saying that every day that goes past, we are getting closer and closer. And some of you may have already received the breakthrough or some of you may have already began to receive a part of your breakthrough because I've did a previous video before about God doing things in steps. Now, for some of you, God is just going to lay it all out and it's going to be like, boom, and everything is going to be right before you. He's going to be blessing you one thing after the other with a career, with wealth, with your kingdom spouse, with a baby. It's going to be back to back to back. Okay. It's going to be suddenly, and you are going to know like, this is God. He is doing exactly what he said he's going to do because he is not a man that he should lie. And I want to share today, y'all, I seen multiple pregnant women and the Holy Spirit communicated with me and let me know that I am about to give birth. I am about to to deliver. And for some of you, this may be physically, you're really about to give birth to a child. And some of you, this may mean that in the spirit, you're about to give birth. This promise is about to give birth. This business, this ministry, this career is about to give birth. And the pregnant women that I saw, they were in different phases. Their bellies were all different sizes. And the Lord communicated with me and let me know that some of you are in different phases of your promise. Some of you may just be conceiving. Some of you may not be quite there yet, but you're going through the trimesters. You may be in your your last trimester. Some of you are about to be in labor and some of you are about to deliver. So wherever you are, you, you may already know God is saying that it is still happening. It is still moving forward. And I just quickly wanted to say, take this word back to the Lord, because this may not be for everybody. Some of you may not be in your season of receiving all of the things that God has for you. Of course, you're going to continue to receive for the duration of your life. But some of us are in a season where we have been waiting on God to do certain things and God God is saying, I am about to do it swiftly. I'm about to do it now, any day now. And I've seen so many three, three, threes today. It was, it was crazy. I've seen so many. And I just wanted to address, I am not into numerology. I am not into angel numbers. God has given me multiple numbers on this journey to purpose, on this journey to my promises, on my kingdom spouse journey, different numbers. And one of them being um, Jeremiah chapter 33, meaning God's promise of restoration. God is about to restore you. He's about to restore the years that you thought you lost. He's about to restore your finances. He's about to restore your marriage for those of you who are already married and waiting for your spouse to return. And some of you are waiting to be um, reconciled back to your kingdom spouse that you have not married yet. God is about to restore. So read Jeremiah chapter 33 and then also verse three, or you can just read the whole chapter because God is about to do it. I wanted to go ahead with the next thing that I wanted to tell you all, and this is in reference to the song, okay? So this song is Butterflies Part Two by Queen Naja because she has two of them, but this is the part two. This song could be from the perspective of you or from the perspective of your kingdom spouse, or it could be from both of you guys' perspective. So when I explain what each verse means, you'll be able to figure out where you are on this spectrum. So it says, I just wanna know, would you catch me if I fall? Some of you are concerned about whether your kingdom spouse is going to receive you or not. Some of you are afraid to truly love them. Some of you are afraid to step into this promise. Some of you are afraid that they won't love you the way that you love them. And I just want to let you know that God is saying when things are aligned the way that they are supposed to be, everything will be exactly the way that he has intended. Will it be perfect? No, because I will be lying if I said things would be perfect because nothing in life is ever perfect. But just know the love will be reciprocated. The love will not feel one sided. OK, the next verse is you came came into my life, then made everything right again. I was once in a dark place. Now, I believe this to be true for both me and my kingdom spouse. And like I said, you can put yourself on the spectrum wherever you think this is from, whether it's from your perspective or both of your perspectives or your kingdom spouse's perspective. So this is saying that when you guys met each other, God has aligned things and 
you were first in a place of maybe depression or you were lost. And for those of you whose spouses are not saved or if they have strayed away from God, they were once in a dark place. But when God makes things right, they will be redeemed. They will see the light of God and things will be the way that it is supposed to. Going on along, it says, I remember when you told me you were scared to fall in love again. Still, you found a way to fall for me. And I believe this to be true for both me and my kingdom spouse because me and him are similar in lots of ways. And I know that me and him both like we're kind of stubborn with pride sometimes, but this journey has stripped me of so much pride. And I've been praying for my kingdom spouse and I can sense that he is being stripped of the pride as well. Because after some time, when you truly care for someone or when you truly love someone, God will knock down all of those walls and it will be like, wow, I am doing things that I didn't know that I could do or would do. And this is a blessing that your spouse or maybe you, you both will be able to come out of your dark place and you both will be able to experience the goodness of God throughout this situation. So moving forward, it says, you were scared to fall in love again. Still, you found a way to fall for me. And some of you may be scared to fall in love or you may be concerned or weary about falling for your spouse or vice versa. But love is still going to find its way. It's still going to happen because you cannot interrupt the will of God. You can't stop what God is doing amongst the two of you. And moving forward, it says, I still get butterflies. Crazy how we vibe. Even when we fight, I still get butterflies. Crazy how we vibe. Even when we fight. And I can definitely resonate with this because it was a point in time when my kingdom spouse has blocked me. Even after that, I was unblocked and we met up after that and everything was still good. It was as if nothing had ever happened. And this is because the love is just so strong and so, so pure from God. And so I moving forward, it says, let's go everywhere together. Turn two years into forever. And some of you may be in a place where you want to spend so much time with your spouse, but there have been so many circumstances that have been stopping the two of you from being able to spend time or being able to do things together. But God is saying that he is going to make sure that this is made right. When you two are able to reconnect, when you two have made room for each other and God is going to lead the way in this. You guys are going to spend so much time together. You guys are going to enjoy each other and it's just going to be so blissful. And the next line says, we'll make diamonds under pressure and turn the pain into pleasure. There has been so much pressure and chaos in the midst of you trying to figure out, is this my spouse? And then when you found out this was your spouse, then... It's like you've been experiencing so much warfare. Your spouse has experienced so much warfare and there has been like a lot of pressure in the spirit and maybe even mental pressure. But diamonds are being made out of this. God is making things right and it'll be beautiful again. It'll be exactly the way that God has intended it to be. So don't get upset over the pressure or don't get upset over the things that you have both had to go through to get to this sweet spot in the relationship. Just know that it is all working for your good. And the next part says, I want to have your last name, no matter how long it takes. You always make me feel so safe and that's how I know you're worth the wait. You obviously want to marry your spouse and your spouse is going to want to marry you too if they have not already awakened to this. But um, you're in it for the long run. No matter how long it takes, you're in it for the long run. And for most of you, it is not going to be long. It is not going to be this long drawn out process because you know it is about to happen. And it says you always make me feel so safe. When you guys are aligned with each other, you're going to feel safe. You're going to feel like this is a God thing. You're going to receive so much confirmation that this is exactly where you're supposed to be. And it says, and that's how I know you're worth the wait. The wait has been hard. The wait may have been tough, but just know that once you receive your spouse, it'll be everything that you have imagined. It'll be everything that you have dreamed of and more. That's why you're fighting so hard. That's why you've been warring in the spirit so much. And that's why Satan has been fighting you so bad because this marriage is going to be a God ordained marriage and anything that is worth having is worth fighting for and it's worth waiting for. And then it just goes back to the course. I still get butterflies. Crazy how we vibe. Even when we fight, I still get butterflies. And it says that again. And I'm just going to skip to the last part. It says, safe to say I'll know that you'll catch me when I fall. Now I got you here. Boy, I'm giving you my all. Dangerously in love. I don't never want to leave. I know you feel the same. You're the only one I see. Let me just quickly break this down. So you feel safe with your kingdom spouse. And it could be now. 
or it can be in the future. You're going to feel safe with them. You're going to know that you can be safe with them because they're going to catch you when you fall. They're going to be there for you. They're going to love you. Okay. They're going to receive you when the time is right. God is going to make things right again. And when it happens, you're going to give them your all. You're going to always put God first. You're never going to put God behind your kingdom spouse. Make sure you're not idolizing your kingdom spouse over God. But other than that, God being number one, your kingdom spouse is going to be number two because that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be God and then your spouse, then your kids and then everything else. And it's so beautiful because you two feel the same about each other, whether you know it right now, whether you can sense it or whether your kingdom spouse is going to come back tomorrow, next week, next month, whenever they're going to come back, you're going to know and learn that they have felt the same way about you all along. And it's going to be such a beautiful journey. Okay. So that is the song. I just wanted to share that with you all because when I was listening to it, I saw two, 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 and I just felt like God wanted me to share this in reference to the kingdom spouse journey. The promises are coming, not just the kingdom spouses, but the wealth, the career, the children, the marriages are going to be redeemed back to God and they're coming back home. And I don't know exactly what your time frame may be, but some of you are experiencing this very fast. It's coming quicker than you think, okay? So stay in faith for it. Continue to pray. And also, I wanted to let you all know that um, I do offer coaching, and I will leave the information in the description. So if you like coaching, give me an email. I also do non clinical counseling. And also, if this video resonates with you, please tell me how. Tell me what part of the video resonates with you. And also, you guys just wanted to say that I love you and I appreciate. Appreciate you tuning in and I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.